Hello and welcome to our very first episode of Master the Art of Music Creation Remix right here on avidblogs.com. My name is Lars Kischkel and I'm a member of the Pro Audio team at Avid. Today we are here at my studio in Cologne, Germany. I'm going to show you how to create electronic music with Pro Tools using plugins and instruments with lots of tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your own music sessions. We'll do a remix of the existing song Words to Say by The Eros and produced by Fab Dupont featured in the Creation to Final Mix video series. I use the HD native Thunderbolt Omni Bundle running Pro Tools 11 HD that has incredible power for hosting virtual instruments and plugins due to its 64 bit architecture and the AX plugin format. The HD Omni is a great sounding and very versatile interface. I also have an Artist Mix controller and will be using many of the 1100 third party AX 64 bit plugins and instruments available for Pro Tools 11. So let's start preparing the remix. As Pro Tools is the industry standard exchange format, this usually starts with a .pdx file. I've been given the session by Fab Dupont and it consists of all the individual tracks in the song. You can also check out and work on the Eros original session files by going to avid.com slash creation to mix. Pro Tools offers different solo options. I am now using the crossover setting that cancels the previous solo track by soloing another. I would say them over, I'd say them over and I can again. still solo multiple Shop tracks by using the shift key. Also very nice is the shortcut shift plus S in order to solo a selected track. If you have multiple tracks soloed, you can cancel them all at once from the top of the edit window right here. My idea is to give the song a different arrangement with electronic elements and also to change the harmonies. So the only tracks from the original session I'm going to use will be the vocals and maybe parts of the drums. By selecting these tracks I can now save the selected tracks as a new session. From the options available in this dialog window I now choose to save a copy of the audio files. It allows me to convert them to 32-bit float. That provides a lot more headroom and integrates seamlessly into the Pro Tools mixer. By doing this, I'm also making another copy of just these tracks that I will use for my remix. We are now seeing the previous saved session. The first thing I'm going to do is strip silence from the main vocal track. That will only leave the actual takes. You can also open the strip silence dialog by using command plus U. As the tempo is a little bit too fast for what I'm planning to do, I will now enable elastic time in order to slow the tempo down a little bit. Elastic time offers many different ways to do it. This is just one method and I'll cover more options in the upcoming videos. So let's see what it does. I can choose from different algorithms to give me the highest sound quality according to the material. Let's choose polyphonic and set the tracks to tick. I can now change the session tempo and the vocals will change in real time accordingly, but they still will keep their pitch. Under. 123 BPM works quite nicely for me. I can still change it later no matter how many tracks will be created in the meantime. And always in real time. I will close the session for now using command plus shift plus w and open a new session file with command plus n. This will bring up the quick start dialog of Pro Tools from where I can access my template folder. 
Beside a bunch of default templates, you can also create your own templates and folders. The default templates make it easy for Pro Tools beginners and, if you've never used them before, open a few of them and check them out. It's an easy way to start working with Pro Tools. I've saved my personal template with prepared routing, master chain and virtual instrument tracks. It's just like in a real studio with racks and cables. When opening a session from such a template, a new session folder will automatically be created. I will save this as words to say remix. This way you never override your template and all of your audio being used in your new project will be located in one directory. I changed the tempo of the session to 123 BPM and will now bring in the prepared vocal and drum tracks from the previous session file by using the input session data command. You can also use the shortcut option plus shift plus i. I can choose to copy or link to the original audio files and choose from the track list the tracks I wish to import. Now I've got everything set up with my favorite effects plugins and instruments. In the next episode I will start working on new harmonies by using a Pro Tools built-in virtual instrument.